Hi, I'm David Levin, and this is Pop Goes the Culture, the untold TV stories you wouldn't have known from the stars who were there. Today, I'm very excited to be talking to Anson Williams, better known as Patsy Weber, on Happy Days, the hit series, which was arguably the biggest TV show of the 1970s. In this eight-part interview, Anson and I will talk about his career from before Happy Days through his days as one of the top television directors in the TV industry, up through his current time as an entrepreneur who has brought to market life-saving products such as Alert Drops. This conversation is from around 10 years ago. Anson is smart, funny, and one of the nicest guys I've had the pleasure of interviewing, and we've remained friends ever since. Today, Anson talks about getting the part on Happy Days. You'll hear about how he and Ron Howard snuck in to get a copy of the script before they auditioned, and you'll learn the truth about Fonzie's leather jacket. Here's the terrific Anson Williams. Let's talk about... Yes. Let's get started. Let's, let's actually, first of all, let's talk about Happy Days and how you got started on the show. Yes. Trust me, I will get to everything we want to get to. Yes. But let's start out. You started telling me the, the Jewish boy from Burbank getting a part in the, in the uh, Love American Style episode. It was, uh, I guess it was 1972. I believe 1972, and um, at the time, I was basically getting cast in all the concerned boyfriend roles, very heavily dramatic stuff. The girl would have 30 lines, like, uh, like um, just to uh, go back, uh, like Lisa Bright and Dark, Kay Lenz is starring in it. She had an incredible performance from her side, 30 emotional lines. They cut to me. And all I'm thinking in my head is, Where's my line come in? Because I, ha I had one. She had 30, I had one. She's going, oh, I can't. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. I understand. 30 more lines. I'll be there. That was it. It was a, it was a living. And, that was it. and then, so one day I get this uh, phone call to um, audition for a show called Happy Days. And my car breaks down, and I get there late, and all this stuff happens. But anyway, I ended up going home with the part, where we, and rehearsals were starting the next morning. That's how backed up they were, casting this Potsy character. So I was, I was very lucky, went in, did it, met Ron Howard, we had a great time, did the pilot, but it didn't sell. Believe it or not, the happy days that got on the air was a different pilot one year later. Tell me that story. Uh, American Graffiti came out, it was a big success. And ABC. Um, no, they ran. A, they ran Love American style, right? Right. They ran, so tell me, sort of walk me back through the Love American style. Okay. It aired on Love American style. And when we finished the the first pilot, um, it aired on Love American style, basically just to play it somewhere. It wasn't filmed for Love American style. It was a place to put it on the air and I guess get some of their money back. And it was nice and it was wonderful and it didn't sell. And it was a lot softer than the Happy Days you see on the air now, because the Happy Days that's, that was on the air now was a second pilot a year later. It wasn't until after American Graffiti came out that ABC went back into their files thinking, didn't we have a 50 show? We, should, we, we better get a 50 show on now. I guess it is hot. And they came across Happy Days, but this time they wanted more of the graffiti kind of feel to it. So they brought in the Fonzie character, and they brought in Ralph. They kind of like re-energized the show. And, uh, Ron Howard and I actually had to audition all over again. They didn't just give us the parts. They thought we might be too old. Uh, <laughs> considering it was on more than 11 years after that, and we were the um, oldest high school students in history of television. But at the time, they thought we were too old. So we had to screen test this time. And when we, we met in the wardrobe area for a fitting, and then Ron and I got like smart and found out where the screen test was going to be shot. What stage? Well, we snuck onto that stage, and the painters were painting, but all, all the props were there and everything. Well, we kind of staged ourselves because Ron knew that they don't give you a lot of time for screen tests, and you better have you better come in ready to play. So we had all these ideas and all this. So when we came in, we acted like it was spontaneous. So instead of spending 20 minutes with us, Gary Marshall spent two hours with us. And he had fun. We were playing. We were inventing. He didn't realize we were there like hours the night before. And we got the parts again. And the rest is history. 
I, so I heard that when um, George Lucas was casting American Graffiti that he actually saw the pilot for Film on Ron. He also did screen test, I think everyone also. That's what I heard. Um, so actually Happy Days came about before American Graffiti, but the flavor of Happy Days changed after American Graffiti came out. Definitely had a big influence on the new, on the new show. Right. And uh, thank goodness. It became a much, much better show, and of course the character of Fonzie was invented, and that was that's that's what we needed. So what happened with the character of Fonzie? I mean, the, the story about the leather jacket is kind of famous at this this point. Well, ABC felt that a leather jacket uh, represented a gang member, and they didn't want the Fonzie character to wear one because they thought it was giving a bad. Um, role model for the kids out there <laughs> a long time ago. So they made, um, they made him wear a cloth jacket. Hard being cool with a cloth jacket, even though Henry did pretty darn well. Um, finally, Gary Marshall argued that, listen, he's on a motorcycle. You don't wear cloth jackets on a motorcycle. You wear a leather jacket so you're safer. Forget the helmet. But you wear a leather jacket so you're safer. So ABC sent a letter from Status and Praxis stating Henry Winkler can wear, I mean the Fonzie character can wear the leather jacket when he's with his motorcycle. Let me tell you, that motorcycle went into his bedroom, that motorcycle came to the dinner table, that motorcycle <laughs> came into the men's room. There was a motorcycle. Because doggone, if there's a motorcycle, there's a leather jacket, and that's the truth. And today, the leather jacket is in the Smithsonian. Today, the leather jacket is in the Smithsonian. <laughs> With Jimmy Olsen's bow tie, by the way, I might add. There you go. We are just getting started. Next time, Anson and I talk about the phenomenon of Happy Days, what it was like getting famous and living through the full-on Beatles experience, the upside and the downside. We talk about the Fonzie phenomenon, what happened when Henry Winkler went from being supporting character to an icon. How did the cast deal with that when the focus of the show changed from Richie to Fonzie? You don't want to miss it. Meantime, what was your favorite Happy Days episode? Let me know in the comments and please subscribe.